Hello everybody, Keith here again. Um, I've not posted much lately. I've done a couple of videos which actually turned out uh, quite poor, so I haven't bothered uploading them. I tried to take the video from a different angle, um, excuse me, and it uh, I couldn't see um, what I was doing in the in the screen because it was across the other side of the camera. So I ended up waving waving the plants and everything else out the screen, which is silly. So I was rabbiting away and nobody could see a blind thing. Somebody has posted a query on my video, which I posted at the beginning of June, about my Nelly Isla. Um, just to recap, and you'll see in that other one, it's posted on I think the 3rd of June. I, um, it's my own silly fault, I'd had it growing quite well and I decided it wanted repotting and I put it in a medium that was too wet. I misinterpreted the requirement that this having Miltoniopsis in it needed to be kept on the damper side as meaning it wanted to be relatively wet, which it doesn't. And within a very short time, it went from a nice plant to just a hideous mess. It was shucking leaves away, things were, were not looking very clever at all. So I bit the bullet quickly, realised things were going wrong, decided I was going to have to do something with it, and I repotted it into smallish bark. Um, and the difference was really quite remarkable, because almost immediately it stopped going downhill. I can't say that it went forward very fast either, but it certainly looks a lot better than it was. Now, some of this doesn't look wonderful, but I'm going to have to be very careful with it, because I've just noticed that there's a, one of the bulbs on here looks like it may be rotting. Um, but I'm going to keep a very close eye on it. Now, some of these don't look very clever, and this was a new growth which looked like it failed, it's still got one leaf, and I assumed on all of these that they were actually duff, and I cut one off, and I found in the bottom it was actually trying to form a pseudo ball. So, it's not, not been great. But, as you'll see, it's not happy, but it's much, much better. So what we've actually got is a new growth there, a new growth there, a new growth here. There's one there, oh yeah, there's four, one, two, three, four. There's one there, which obviously tried to grow and has aborted. That's not apparently going to do anything but we'll live in hope. But the interesting thing, which I hope you can see on this one, is that even these rather ratty uh, new growths, which haven't done anything, are beginning to put roots out. And it's the same with that one, has put, you know, put some roots out. So no, they're not looking great, um, but it isn't dead, it's got some new growth coming and all we can do is really keep the fingers crossed and see how we're going. Now the problem is going to come, if this pseudo bulb gets any worse, um, that's going to have to come off. Um, so I'm keeping a very, very close eye on that one. If that has to come off, because it is showing some signs of going brown. It's not uh, gone soft yet. 
So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's just it's old rot, which is um, a sort of it's halted because we've got three three pseudo bolts coming off around that, and I really don't want to chop it off and lose those. Um, if I have to chop that off, it, it might almost be a case of um, going out and buying another one. But I'd really like to see whether I can get these, because if I can get some roots down and get this, these doing something, uh, get some roots away, get these a bit bigger, then we'll do. But I think the, po the, the point is that having come very, very, very close to losing it, it is actually fighting back. And orchids are very good at that, I've found. You can make a complete mess of them. Um, and they really, because of the pseudo bulb and the energy that they store, um, you can do quite well. Now, I'm just going to, I just thought I've got another couple of examples of that, which I'll go and fetch. Something I did exactly the same with. And, uh, so I'll turn the camera off and we're back in a sec. Right, these are a couple of promeneas, promeneas, however you pronounce it, I don't know, and I made exactly the same mistake with these, because these, again, like to be damp. They're members of the Zygopetalum tribe, and they like to be kept on the damp side. They like to drain. So just like the Nelly Isla, this one struggled. I've had this um, just over a year, about 14 months, and it's about the slowest growing thing I've got. It does not do anything quickly, um, but it reflowered for me this year, and I was very happy, and I repotted it. And everything went wrong. You had a couple of goes at putting new growths out and they rotted. So I thought, okay, um, let's repot it, let's see if we can improve it. I've got this in a mixture of small bark and ceramics, and lo and behold, we've got a new growth which for this one is actually growing quite fast. And there's something else we have not seen before. I've seen it on um, yeah, can we see it? I don't know whether we can see it. Let's zoom it in. Or not. But can you see? I hope right on the end of that old pseudo bulb is a green growth. I don't know what on earth it's going to turn into. Something has emerged from the top of the pseudo bulb in the last few days. Now that new growth's got some roots on. Um, and, uh, again, I don't know how well you will see that, but it has got some roots on it. You just about make out the roots on there. So that's certainly looking better. That's Promenea, Promenea. Silvana. Now this one is Promenia Xanthina and I bought this only in March or April this year. Um, it was in flower and I made exactly the same mistake. Really messed it up. And it dumped its leaves and again it tried to put some new growths out and the new growth rotted um, because it would appear although you like to be damp, they don't like to be wet, and the new growths don't like to be wet. There's one or two orchids, I believe, don't um, are like that. They don't like being wet on the new growths. It'll rot just like that. But, I mean, repotted it, we've got a new growth there and a new growth. There's much smaller new growth in there. So, I think the moral of this story is be careful with what you do with the um, with your orchids. If you see a problem, don't 
don't hesitate. Try them and, and see if it, what you've changed. If, it, if things start changing after you've done something, whether it's a repot or something else, don't look about, don't look to see whether it's going to carry on doing that. Um, put it back to what it was before. If it was thriving before and you've made a change, change the medium to something else and it doesn't like it, change it back. Don't scratch about, because these will go downhill incredibly quickly. That went from a nice plant to a mess in about three and a half weeks. These went downhill similarly. Um, threw the leaves off um, and not looking very happy. So that's all you can really do is um, uh, just change things back. If it worked before, it'll work again. But don't mess about. Now one last little thing that I want to show you is something I haven't uh, something I haven't seen before. This is Sologeny flaccida. I bought it from a member of the East Midlands Orchid Society last year in flower. It's put out a nice new growth there, still growing. The leaves are going, it's beginning to swell at the base. There's another one on the other side, which is going. Now we normally expect roots to come from new growths. That's the usual trick. Um, certainly not further back than the previous growth. We've got a root coming off this one. So far from it um, being dead, that's an active, actually a more active um, pseudobulb than I would have expected. So orchids never fail to surprise. Okay, that'll do for tonight. I will see you again next time. Bye. Right, this is a supplementary to the video um, which I took last night. And then I thought at this rot on this pseudo ball here was contained and today it's not obviously not that is soft so I've got to go for some very delicate surgery here to try and get rid of this pseudo ball without damaging the four new growths and if I can manage that I should be a very happy little bully but at the moment I'm quite a worried one Now, it's only a couple of months since I had a look at this last. Ah, well, there's the first problem that three of the new growths are on the same bit of um, So I'm very much mistaken with rot in there as well. That really is something I did not want to do. Because there's nothing there that's going to take these on now. That's had it. Three new growths and that one's at it. So now I've got one new growth there, which I need to um, take these leaves off so I can see what is happening. Ooh.
we've got signs of life. A little new growth coming up under there. And we've got roots coming down there. Now you can see from this that it's still not a happy plant. Not by a very long way is that a happy plant. Most of these roots are dead. Um, you've really got to wonder whether this one is worth saving. It's getting to that point where it won't be. Um, but while it's trying to put out new growth and we've got some roots, I suppose I ought to give it a chance. Um, these roots are absolutely dead. Um, and if they're dead, that's dead. But at least I've got down to healthy tissue. So what have we got left? A possible new growth coming up and absolutely no roots except which are both to come in um, off the new growths. So this is likely to get worse before it gets better. But that lot's no good to anybody, there's no live roots on that, that's full of rot and there's nothing to support those. So, what do I do with that? Well about all I can do with it I think is put it in a very small pot with some moss underneath it. Um, I haven't got any, um, you see this is bit of a problem here. Um, hmm. um, there's another node has appeared. suppose while it's trying this hard it deserves a chance to see where we go I'm really big sick about that but you're not going to get even if I take those off I'd be astonished if they were going to grow um, I mean that's all of that tissues, so that's rotten at the bottom. <sighs> no, that's, that's beyond saving. So I need to get that into something which is not going to be too wet. What I could really do with is a small mesh pot, so I could put it, put it in with some. Um, Moss, but I think it needs to go into a very small pot like, like that. It's not going to be very good. I'm very happy. Um, but I think if I put that in a small pot with as small an amount of um, compost as I can get away with, which is probably not very hard in, in something that size. And then we'll see what we're doing. You'll probably notice that unlike most occasions I'm using my uh, gloves, which I don't normally do. But I think now we have actually got down to um, down to 
clean tissue, so I can probably take those off. I don't want to mess about and make life any more difficult than I've got to. The only question is what do I pot it in? I mean, normally for something that small I'd be using seedling compost, but I've got a horrible feeling that's going to stay too wet too long because there's absolutely nothing to um, bring it back. Now I'd prefer to have used a mesh pot so that the, um, the whole thing dries out faster and I could use moss but I just don't think I can. So I'll knock the video off for a couple of seconds and okay back again um, I've made a start on potting this back up again. It's going to be very tricky to do. Um, um, I've put some plain bark in the bottom of this very small pot and I'm now putting around the bottom of the plant a mixture of small bark, moss and ceramics. I'm just keeping my fingers very firmly crossed that this is going to dry out fast enough. Um, but I've, I'm kind of in between the devil and the deep blue sea really because um, I really don't know whether this is going to pull round. I don't know how much moisture it wants or doesn't want to try and get these new growths. And I've found some more. I've pulled some of the sheaths off. There's actually some more trying to come out. But this is going to be tricky. I don't think there's any doubt about that. I'm trying to get something that will retain moisture around the roots that won't have too much because at the moment there's next to nothing that's actually going to make it um, take it up. So it's, it's actually very difficult to know what to do for best and I really don't know what, I'm do what to do for best with this. I really don't. Um, I mean as it stands we've got two, uh, a new growth on there and it, uh, one on the other side is a bit further advanced and roots coming from other parts. I am going to put a couple of sticks in and try and prop this up so that it's stable but if I'm being absolutely honest I don't hold out a great deal of hope for this and I think I'm going to end up um, uh, buying another one and hopefully making a better job it's a shame because when I first got it, it did quite well for me. But now, no, it's not. I completely mishandled this. It's nobody's fault but mine. Um, and I think it's um, it's going to be very, very interesting to see where we go. I mean orchids do generally like to live. They'd rather live than die so I'm hoping that this is going to want to, uh, to do something. But I do not hold my breath at all.
So that is the result of a 24 hour reconsideration and coming down this morning and looking at my orchids as I nearly always do and just thinking, nope, you got that one wrong last night matey, you, you should have uh, got rid of it and you can see I've got rid of quite a lot of potential had that rot not set in, but it's squidgy, you know, that has gone, I mean there's no, no two ways about that, that's had it that's had it and it's spreading so there we are so that is the Nelly Isla goodness knows what we're going to do with that um, but all we can do is wait and see thanks for watching